is Coco with One Night. Please welcome singer and guitarist Shane Lange. Oh. <laughs> How are you, Shane? I'm good. I'm nice good. to meet you, my friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, not a problem. E e easy on on the singer bit and the guitarist bit. Well, you, you're a naturalist. You can do both, can't you? Oh, I don't know about that. Really? I'm, I'm pretty average at both, actually. How long have, has this group been together for? Coco? We've been together for uh, about two years. Right. Yeah, yeah. And you've played for some. Uh, you've played before some some good bands here in New Zealand. Yeah. I'm not saying that your band's not good, <laughs> but no, you guys well, have been lead ups to like Fat Freddy's Drop uh -huh. and Catch a Fire. Catch a Fire, and uh, there's also an Auckland band called Paola. Yeah, right. we, we haven't done too many live gigs, but the gigs that we have done have have, have been uh, not too bad. Tell us about your, um, your your debut album, Music for the Sweet Tooth. I want to know where the where the name come for that, and you 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 produced it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, you, I, answer the first one. Music for the sweet tooth. Where did that come from? Well, basically, um, from from the name Coco. Um, the our, our music's kind of um, it's acoustic soul, right? You know, and and so what what we kind of did was that um, Coco, the the name of the band first, Coco is is, is actually K O K O, which is uh, the my grandfather's name, right? So his name's Coco, but you know we we, we called it Coco, right? And, I was um, going to pronounce it Coco, actually, but I wasn't yeah, too sure. Yeah, well, well, basically, you know, we've we're, we're one of those bands where we've um, we it's K O K O, so right. it's Coco, right. but we call ourselves Coco, and if anyone pronounces it correctly, right. well, then it's it's a bonus, you know. Right. Okay. But uh, as opposed to the other way around, you know, we say, oh, we're Coco, and everyone pronounces it Coco, and you say, oh, actually, it's Coco. Yeah, but no, no, we're we're, we're Coco, and and just the sound of it, you know, our music is is warming, it's it's good, easy to listen to. And um, uh, we've got a lot of talented musicians out there and uh, a lot of talented musicians in the band. So basically it's music for the sweet tooth, you know, because we, we, we play with feeling. Is it all, uh, is the whole group of you is all um, full time or have you got other jobs on the side? Um, yeah, so, some of us are full time, full, full -time musicians right. and some of us like myself and um, have to have uh, other, other jobs. Would you rather be a full time musician? To tell you the truth, and uh, out of the band, I'm actually the own, only member that isn't a musician. Right. Yeah. So yeah. how did you, how did you get into music? How, how did, did all, I get when into? Where did it all start for you? Where did it all start? Well, it started it started up in Gisborne at Fitiraya and on a music course. Right. And I actually got brought on to the music course because I did drama and I knew the tutor, and he said, "Look, I, I and think he wasn't it, an uncle or a no, 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 <laughs> exactly." Um, but he was in my theatre group, and he said, "Look, I think you'd be great coming on my course for stage presence and yeah. lighting." Right. And, um, and basic, it all and built from there. Yeah, and you know, and and just um, well, I started. I, I couldn't play guitar at all, and I came down to New Zealand Drama School, and every party I went to, someone handed me a guitar. So it was just a case of having to. It was a case of having to. So I learnt one song, yeah, uh, which was "Stand by Me," I think. How many chords? Three chords. Yeah, three chords. <laughs> and then, and then, or well, maybe it's four actually. No, I think I went hard out, and it's four, four chords. Four chords. And um, and then basically, what happened? Every good party I went to, someone handed me. I'd play that one song, and I'd pass it on, and then that'll be it. Brilliant. And let's talk about your daytime job because you trained at Fitiraya, um, Fitiraya uh, Polytech, mm -hmm. where you um, you've done you've been acting for the last twenty years. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the, the roles that you've had because you've had some pretty pretty decent roles with Lord of the Rings, Prince Caspian. Oh yeah, I, I, I suppose. I mean, I've I've done a few roles. Um, not not a lot of people know who I am, but. Um, you know, Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, I mm -hmm. played a character called General Lotman, which was the White Witch's general of her army. He was a Minotaur, which right. is the bull. And um, and apparently, merchandising-wise, the uh, Minotaurs did quite well. So they, bring, they brought you back? So they wrote a Minotaur back into Prince Caspian. There were no Minotaurs in Prince Caspian, and they wrote, they wrote one in. And I walked into a boardroom meeting one day, and Andrew just happened to be in there, and he said, so I've got another Minotaur. Had you in mind, would you like to play it? And I said, oh, you know, if you need someone to, to torture in a suit, you know where I am. And basically, <laughs> basically that's what happened. Um, he, he, he wrote it in and, and you know, I've, it's great because no one in New Zealand knows who I am. I can go down to New World and stuff like that, buy, buy groceries. No one, even takes it, no one takes any notice of me. I walk past a milking shed. The cows, mate, apparently milking, <laughs> milking goes up tenfold. I read you're too intimidating for a nice guy, <laughs> but too nice and smiley to play a bad guy, so you've got to kind of play the in-between. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, it was really funny. When I came out of drama school, everyone said to me, look, you, you, you've got it made. You, you're going to be, you know, you, you're one of the very few Māori actors that have come out of New Zealand drama school, and you're going to be a star. Yeah. And, of course, I'd go to an audition, 
and uh, for a bad well, for a bad guy. And people who who knew me said, "Oh, look, you, you're too nice yeah. to be a bad guy." And then I'd go in for a nice guy, and because I'm I'm slightly a bit taller than average. How tall are you? Oh, 195 centimeters. And we, were, we were debating it. Is that six four or six five? We'll just yeah. go six five. Yeah, eight. yeah. You okay. shrink with age, so. Exactly, you know, and, and, and it depends, apparently, it depends on what character you go for as well. Right. If he's supposed to be 6'8", I'm 6'8". Really? Yeah. Well, there's Cameras an article. Are amazing, eh? oh, mate, there's an article that I, I did uh, some motion capture for the Doha Games, and uh, I, played, I did the opening and closing. I played the sea god at the opening and the genie at the closing. Right. And they did an article, and they said they hired, you know, in, in this article, it's all in black and white, they hired this, this big Māori guy because the, the characters were so big at 6 foot 8 and 200 kgs. Wow. Oh, 200 kg. That, 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 that was before. This is after. This is after. Before yeah, I... Exactly. This is what happens when you play with Coco. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shane, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much. And thank you for bringing your uh, band, Coco. I'm going to call him the right oh, name, Coco. Excellent. Great. And hey, do you cook? Do you, I cook? You in the kitchen? Yeah, I'm not too bad. We you may know? have to get you in the kitchen in the I'm future actually, or something. We'll I'm see actually whether... not too bad really? in the kitchen. Oh, you'd be surprised. All right. Maybe next time, my friend. Thanks for coming excellent. on the show anyway. Hey, not a problem, Redden. Great. Excellent. Cheers, Thanks, mate. bro. And just...